ഹലോ കുട്ടികളെ എന്തൊക്കെയുണ്ട് വിശേഷം എല്ലാവരും സുഖമായിട്ടിരിക്കുന്നു എന്ന് വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നു ഇന്നത്തെ വീഡിയോ പത്താം ക്ലാസ്സിലെ കുട്ടികൾക്ക് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ളതാണ് ലൈറ്റ് റിഫ്ലക്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് റിഫ്രാക്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ചാപ്റ്ററിന്റെ ഒരു ക്യൂക്ക് റിവിഷൻ വീഡിയോ ആണിത് കേട്ടോ അപ്പൊ ഈ ഒരു ചെറിയ വീഡിയോക്കകത്ത് ഈ ചാപ്റ്ററിലെ ഏറ്റവും ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള എല്ലാ ടോപ്പിക്സും ഉൾപ്പെടുത്തണം എന്നാണ് വിചാരിച്ചിട്ടുള്ളത് ലെറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ ആദ്യം നമ്മൾ ഈ ചാപ്റ്ററിൽ പഠിക്കുന്നത് മിററിനെ കുറിച്ചിട്ടാണ് അല്ലെ സ്മൂത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഹൈലി പോളിഷ്ഡ് റിഫ്ലക്ടിംഗ് സർഫസ് ആണ് മിറർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് മോസ്റ്റ് കോമൺലി യൂസ്ഡ് മിററേഴ്സ് ആർ പ്ലെയിൻ മിററേഴ്സ് അതല്ലാതെ സ്പെരിക്കൽ മിററേഴ്സും നമ്മൾ ഉപയോഗിക്കാറുണ്ട് പ്ലെയിൻ മിററിൽ ലാറ്ററൽ ഇൻവേഷൻ നടക്കുന്നതായിട്ട് എല്ലാവർക്കും അറിയാം നിങ്ങൾ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ടായിരിക്കും ആംബുലൻസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന വേർഡ് മിറർ ഇമേജ് ആയിട്ട് എഴുതുന്നതിന്റെ കാരണം ലാറ്ററലി ഷിഫ്റ്റഡ് ആണ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് തിരിച്ചിട്ടാണ് എഴുതാറുള്ളത് അല്ലെ അപ്പൊ പ്ലെയിൻ മിററിന് ലാറ്ററൽ ഇൻവേഷൻ ഉണ്ടാവുമെന്ന് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അറിയാവുന്നതാണ് റിഫ്ലക്ഷൻ വെച്ചാൽ എന്താണ് പിന്നെ റേ ഓഫ് ലൈറ്റ് ഫോൾസ് ഓൺ എനി പോളിഷ്ഡ് ഓബ്ജെക്ട് ലൈറ്റ് ഫ്രം ദാറ്റ് ഓബ്ജെക്ട് ബൗൺസസ് ബാക്ക് ദോസ് റേസ് ഓഫ് ലൈറ്റ് ടു അവർ ഐസ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് നോൺ ആസ് റിഫ്ലക്ഷൻ ഓർ റിഫ്ലക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ലൈറ്റ് ലോസ് ഓഫ് റിഫ്ലക്ഷൻ ദർ ആർ ടു ലോസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ സേസ് വാട്ട് ദ ആംഗിൾ ഓഫ് ഇൻസിഡൻസ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ദ ആംഗിൾ ഓഫ് റിഫ്ലക്ഷൻ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ സേസ് ദ ഇൻസിഡൻറ് റേ ദ നോർമൽ ആൻഡ് ദ റിഫ്ലക്റ്റഡ് റേ all lie in the same plane regular reflection and diffused reflection you might have studied in class 8th also right image formation by plane mirror infinite images are formed when an object is placed between two parallel plane mirrors ningal kandittundayirikkum in dressing room nathakke ingane rendu parallel mirrors aayirikkum vechittundayirikka and when we stand in between we'll be able to see infinite number of images alle ini number of images formed kandupidikkanayittulla or formula 360 divided by theta theta is the angle between the two image uh, mirrors kept okay mirrors whose reflecting surfaces are spherical adine parayana perana spherical mirrors a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards is known as a concave mirror whereas a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved outwards is known as a convex mirror spherical mirrors in the important parts are njan ivada mark cheyidirikkunnathu principal axis center of curvature pole radius of curvature principal focus idokkana spherical mirrors nammal really important aayittu manasilaakki vekkanda terms nu parayanu ഓക്കെ സ്പെരിക്കൽ മിററേഴ്സ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ലെറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ബി കോൺകേവ് ഓർ കോൺവെക്സ് ഇത് രണ്ടും ഒരു സ്പിയർ എന്ന് കട്ട് ചെയ്തെടുത്തിട്ടുള്ള റിഫ്ലക്ടിംഗ് സർഫസസ് ആണ് ഓക്കെ അതിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് പറയുന്നത് സ്പെരിക്കൽ മിറർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അപ്പോ സ്പിയറിന് ഒരു സെന്റർ ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കുമല്ലോ ആ സെന്ററിനെയാണ് സെന്റർ ഓഫ് കർവേച്ചർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സ്പിയറിന്റെ റേഡിയസിനെയാണ് റേഡിയസ് ഓഫ് കർവേച്ചർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് റിഫ്ലക്ടിംഗ് സർഫസിന്റെ മിഡ് പോയിന്റ് അതിനെയാണ് പോൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് പോളും സെന്റർ ഓഫ് കർവേച്ചറും കണക്ട് ചെയ്ത് വരയ്ക്കുന്ന ലോങ് സ്ട്രേറ്റ് ലൈൻ പറയുന്ന പേരാണ് പ്രിൻസിപ്പൽ ആക്സിസ് അപ്പൊ ഈ ഡെഫിനേഷൻസ് എല്ലാവരും ഒന്ന് ഓർത്ത് വെക്കണം റേഡിയസ് ഓഫ് കർവേച്ചർ ഇസ് ദ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ പോൾ ആൻഡ് ദ സെന്റർ ഓഫ് കർവേച്ചർ സെന്റർ ഓഫ് കർവേച്ചർ ഇസ് ദ പോയിന്റ് ഇൻ ദ സെന്റർ ഓഫ് ദ മിറർ വിച്ച് പാസസ് ത്രൂ ദ കേവ് ഓഫ് ദ മിറർ ആൻഡ് ഹാസ് എ സെയിം ടാൻജൻ ആൻഡ് കർവേച്ചർ അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് പോയിന്റ് അപ്പർച്ചർ ഇസ് ദ പോയിന്റ് ഫ്രം വിച്ച് ദ റിഫ്ലക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ലൈറ്റ് ആക്ച്വലി ഹാപ്പൻസ് പോൾ ഇസ് ദ മിഡ് പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് എ മിറർ focus is the point where the light rays parallel to the principal axis will converge after reflection from the mirror principal axis is an imaginary line passing through the optical center and the center of curvature of the spherical mirror focal length it is on the axis of the mirror where the rays of light are parallel to the axis converge after reflection or refraction adhiriya na focus point nu parayunnathu pole um focus point um thammulla length aanu focal length nu parayunnathu concave mirror nammal paranju curved inwards aayirikkum it is also known as converging mirror convex mirror will be curved outwards it is also known as diverging mirror convergence nu vechittengil parallel rays of light will actually meet at a point after reflection divergence nu parayunnal parallel rays of light will appear to come from a common point after reflection detailed aitla videos nammude channel la undu this is for the purpose of a quick revision ee chapter na the entak terms aan use cheyittulladu onnu plain aayittu paranju vanna video aanu tho image formation by concave mirror there are six positions of object and the corresponding image for concave mirror first one says when the object is placed at infinity as you can see in the diagram the reflected rays are actually meeting at the point f on the principal axis appo focus la ana image form cheya pratheka endana id converging rays and reflected rays adu kondu thanne image is going to be 
really major, really major surroundings inverted and size is highly diminished point size down. Random to figure out when the object is placed beyond C, you can see the image forming between C and F. Idam converging reflected rays are ne nature of the image is real and inverted size. As you can see from the diagram, it is diminished. Any uh, object front load to make you when the object is placed at C, you can see the reflected rays are meeting at the point C itself. Converging reflected rays are no, other one, the image is going to be inverted and real. Size is same as that of the object. Now let's push the object a more closer to the mirror. That is when the object is placed between C and F. The image is formed beyond C. Size of the image is bigger. Nature of the image is real and inverted. Let's move the object closer further by keeping it at the focus. Focus la object to equipo image is forming at infinity. Namka parallel light la reflected rays on get another real image on a inverted image on a highly enlarged image on Okay. When the object is placed between F and P, as you can see that the rays of reflected rays are going to be diverging rays, which means image is virtual erect and enlarge the position is behind the mirror. Apo, idana, six different positions of object, position of image, corresponding size and nature of the image. Namal parana guide the niana infinity object which yanyal focus on image in dava, highly diminished point size dana, real and inverted. Beyond C which yanyal of image will be forming between F and C, diminished image, real and inverted. Object at C which yanyal Real and inverted, same size nulla image will be formed at C. Between C and F object which you are real and inverted, enlarged image will be formed between beyond C. Focus which you are real and inverted, highly enlarged image will be forming at infinity when the object is placed between P and F, virtual and erect. Enlarged at image will be forming behind the mirror. Idana image formation by Concave mirror. In the Namka Padikan, image formation by convex mirror. Image formation by convex mirror. Namka Randa images of Matri Padikinolo when the object is placed at convex mirror. Namka Randa images of Matri Padikinolo when the object is placed at infinity in Kana Batum, diverging at la eraser which is supposed to be coming from the focus. Our image is supposed to be formed at the focus. Virtual images are no, virtual images are always erect. Even a point size dot line image on. Any where a the position of object which is on between infinity and the pole. Let the object be placed anywhere. You will be getting the image between the pole and the focus behind the mirror. Size is smaller. Virtual and erect dot line image on. Get a convex mirror in there. Two positions are there. When the object is placed at infinity, virtual, erect, and highly diminished image will be forming at the focus. When the object is placed between infinity and the pole of the mirror, virtual erect and diminished image will be formed between P and F. This is what the mirror formula. Mirror formula you see in the problems here and under. That is the sign conventions. This is the separate right video on the channel. 1 by F is equal to 1 by V plus 1 by U on the mirror formula. Where F stands for distance between focus and the pole. Focal length is the name. V stands for image distance, which is the distance of image from the pole. U stands for object distance, which is the distance of the object from the pole. And R stands for radius of curvature, which is the distance between the center of curvature and the pole. F is equal to R by 2. Focal length equal to half of radius of curvature. We formula. We can formula. We can the formula. We can the formula. We can detailed video channel. Magnification, it is expressed as the ratio of Height of the image to the height of the object. M equal to H dash by H. No, the formula and you see here. For mirror, which is minus V by U also. From equations 1 and 2, we can write M is equal to H dash by H, which is equal to minus V by U. This is H dash in the uh, size of the image. Hu. H in the Okay, it's not H dash. H in the size of the object. Maan. Okay. Any refraction. Apo, idhaan, itra varing, laan, nanka, reflection of light. This is for a quick revision purpose. Refraction of light in which a ray of light bends as it moves from one medium to another medium due to refraction. Refraction is because of speed of light. Uh, 
changes when it goes from one medium to another medium. Refraction of light through a glass slab diagram. As you can see, the incident ray and the emergent ray will be parallel. Refraction will happen at two of the interfaces when first one, when light goes from air and it enters glass. And when it goes from glass to air, then also refraction will happen, two times refraction. Okay. Whereas the incident ray and the emergent ray will be parallel to each other. There will be a perpendicular distance between them. It is called lateral displacement. Loss of refraction, the first one, it is similar to the law of reflection itself. That is the incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal to the interface of the two transparent media will lie in the same plane. Second one says the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is a constant for a given color of light and light of given uh, in for a given pair of media and for light of given color. This is the pair of Snell's law of refraction. Uh, for Snell's law of refraction, we have a formula also. That is n equal to sine i divided by sine r, where n stands for refractive index, i stands for angle of incidence, and r stands for angle of refraction. Refractive index, it is the ratio of speed of light in air or vacuum. Air in vacuum, speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second to the speed of light in the given medium. Okay. At the glass angle, speed of light uh, in air divided by speed of light in glass. Water angle, speed of light in air divided by speed of light in water. N equal to C by V in the formula, where C is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Refractive index is another. Since it is the ratio of similar quantity, that is unit in the quantity. Okay. In the lenses, refraction, we reflection the spherical mirrors. Refraction is the lenses. Lens is a part of a transparent thick glass which is bounded by two spherical surfaces. It is an optical device through which the rays of light converge or diverge before transmitting. Concave mirror is the converging mirror. In the part of the Lens is convex lens, converging lens. Okay, convex mirror is diverging. Lens is concave lens, diverging lens. It can converge or diverge the rays of light. Convex lens is thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges. We will chapter about the biconvex lenses. One side plane is the name of convex lens. Plano convex lens. So, our focus area is on biconvex lens. Thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges. We call it concave lens. Concave lens which we use in our textbook. Like in this lesson is biconcave lens. Because of two spherical surfaces. Bulgy inverse. Concave lens includes lenses like plano concave and concave meniscus. Concave is the focus area is on biconcave lens. Image formation by convex lens which is similar to image formation by concave mirror. Concave mirror we have R diagrams. That is the convex lens in R diagrams. First one when the object is placed at infinity image will be forming at the focus real image on a other inverted on a Point sized image on. When the object is placed beyond 2f1, you will be getting the image between f2 and 2f2, smaller size, real, and inverted. When the object is placed at 2f1, image will be forming at 2f2, same size, real, and inverted on. When the image is, uh, object is placed between f1 and 2f1, image will be forming beyond 2f2, bigger size on, real, and inverted on. When the object is placed at the focus, image will be forming at infinity, real, inverted, and highly magnified on. When the object is placed between f and o, optical center and the focal length, focus uh, between which you are image is going to be virtual, erect and enlarged. Virtual image in the position on the same side as that of the object. That is the lens we can do. Real image on the right side the image forms. Object left image will be forming on the right side. But virtual image on the object which is on the side the image forms. Our six positions are in the relative position, size and nature. This is what we Concave lens in a random diagram. 
as was the case with convex mirror. When the object is placed at infinity, you will be getting a virtual erect and diminished image at the focus. In where the position of object is let it be between any position, I mean, between infinity and the optical center, let the object be placed at any point. Image will be forming between the focus and the optical center and uh, size diminished down the nature of the virtual and erect. Now, we are going to learn the concave lens. Now, we are using concave lens and convex lens. We are using the mirror formula. We are using the lens, lens formula, which is 1 by V minus 1 by U equal to 1 by F. One scientist uh, changed the matter. The mirror formula is 1 by V plus 1 by U. That is the same lens formula. Is 1 by V minus 1 by U equal to 1 by F. Magnification is H dash divided by H, which will be equal to V by U. Lens in the minus, uh, sorry, mirror in the minus V by I, no? Lens in the, it's V by U. Power of a lens, less in the last topic, degree of convergence or divergence of light ray achieved by a lens is known as power of a lens. It is defined by the reciprocal of its focal length. P in the symbol and you see another power can do can I P equal to 1 by F. If F is given in centimeter, and the angle P can be written as 100 by F. Karnam power in the formula F should be in meters. Meters learning matrame 1 by F you see the power can do can be to do in the question. If F is given in centimeter, you can use 100 by F. SI unit of power in the bar another diopter on the denoted by capital D, one diopter and by another power of a lens whose focal length is 1 meter. One lens in a 1 meter focal length on the angle, our lens in the power is 1 diopter in the defined chamber. Now, if you are going to be basic item, light reflection and refraction are in the chapter. Now, in this video, you will be helpful to you quick revision purpose. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day ahead to all of you.